What's up guys, it's your boy Gerard on Slink Media. Guys, you already know whatever is happening in Nigeria social media that have to do with entertainment. I'm all this year and I'm slinking to all this shit with you so you are covered when it comes to that. And this time, you know, everything Peruzi, Peruzi did this, Peruzi did that and uh, I'm quite tired about it. For the past few days now, it has, always, it has just been about Peruzi. First, it was Peruzi dating, not being Choma's cousin. Peruzi, they are cheating with Choma. Peruzi writing David's song. You know, it has just always been about Peruzi. And now, Peruzi, I believe that Peruzi is, is in a very big trouble over some things that he did to a girl. And this girl is coming out to blast Peruzi over all those things and is asking Peruzi to pay her his 15 million naira. If not, she's going to reveal Peruzi's Peru secret, which she already did anyway. And this girl, her name is Daffy Banco, and she's based in London. She's a lawyer, but from now, a singer. Daffy Banco wrote a lot of things on her, on her social media, and uh, she's calling her Peruzi. And meanwhile, before I go into that, I thought Peruzi was dating Baby Ninja CC because in some few months ago, Peruzi was sharing some kind of video suggesting that he was dating Bimi Ninja CC. But now it seems like everything gonna just turn to turn to red because now another lady has accused Peruzi of similar something. Don't forget, a lady before has accused Peruzi of doing something to her. Well, this uh, Daffy Balcom is accusing Peruzi of touching her in some places, sensitive places that she did not authorize Peruzi to touch. Sorry guys, I'm, we try as much as possible not to use some certain languages because YouTube does not want those languages on their platform. So I'm going to try as much as possible not to say all those languages. This girl, Daffy Balcom, is accusing Peruzi of touching her in a sexy place and having his way with her. And this girl said that Peruzi drew, tracked her to an hotel then she hacks at the reception to let Peruzi into her hotel. And Peruzi spent the night over in her hotel room. And uh, of course, they did some royal rumble in that hotel room. And Peruzi, at the end of the day, Peruzi was begging her not to involve the police because the girl felt that Peruzi humili humiliated her in that hotel room. And uh, Peruzi was begging and they later sorted, in, sorted things out. Now the girl is asking for her 15 million naira that she paid Peruzi. But let me just tell you how it is. Then later I will tell you what I really feel about this whole story. She said, never ever did I ever think meeting you would be the worst, my worst nightmare. You had one job and that was to write me a song with upfront payment of 10 million. This was the purpose of our meeting. You were recommended by a friend who is the CEO of a bank in Victoria Island. He spoke very highly of you since you were the mastermind behind many hit songs. But instead you decided to leave the business we spoke about and try and have your way with me. You say you were drunk but you were able to drive and follow me and track my hotel where I stay. Next morning you at the reception. I regret allowing reception to let you up. I regret returning with you back to the studio thinking you were ready to work. In the meantime, you had other intention. I only have the power to type this because I have healed. I am ready for the battle. You hurt me physically and caused me emotional trauma. I have scars on my thighs. You took advantage of me because you know there is no law in your country, especially for women. I remember you had to lock the door and did not want me to leave. It is such a shame that there is no 911 in Nigeria, no F police. I was the one who was hurt then. But then you were the one crying and begging me not to call the lawyer until you even fell asleep on my stomach, not wanting, not wanting to let go of me so that I do not leave. I have videos where well, this lady said she has videos to prove all the stock that after Peruzi did whatever he was doing, that Peruzi ended up 
kneeling and begging her not to involve the police and Peruzzi even slept. Due to the begging and too much begging, <laughs> the Peruzzi even slept on her stomach, holding her tight not to let her go so that she he, he, he won't, she won't call the police. Then the lady says, continue, let me say, my lawyer and your lawyer tried to make peace between us. I never agreed to sign that contract, but those sent, sent because it was one-sided. One sided, you are lucky because of DMW lawyer. I never took district action against you right there and release all the stuff and useless document you sent. So I can close my mouth. You can rot in prison, you can get maximum of 20 years. Both our lawyer try hard and did their best. But it was only me and you that knew it was deeper than what they thought. You cried and begged me for five months. Well, here you go, I have forgiven you. Today is the day I forgive you for the sake of my home peace. So please deliver my song or my 15 million naira. The clock is ticking. Trust me, I don't want to fight with you because it will get very ugly. You know the deeper details of this situation. Please do the right thing. And that's all I ask. The details about you are too damaging. Do not do the right thing. Then, one shocking thing is that this guy released some few chats between voice chat, it's not just chat, voice chat between her and Peruzzi. So, let's take just a quick, let's just listen to some of the chats and later we start talking more about it. If anything happens tomorrow, in my name, they will mention it. You understand me? My name, they will mention it. Because that, honestly, from the, I, like I said before, I never plan to hurt you, or harm you, or make you angry, or make you face anything. I will be able to work with you. Because you're crazy. I like you when you, I like you when you laugh. Like I feel, I feel calm when I see that. Okay, you're, you're, you're playing, you're, la you're laughing and stuff. I feel calm. I think I can work that way. I can work with you if you're actually somebody that doesn't really carry things on your mind. Because because you can't I can't I can't say it's the first song I would write that you would love. Because it might just be the second song. You understand? And you might we might just mess around with the third song and then it's just m m honestly from the I like I said before, I never plan to hurt you or harm you or make you angry or make you face anything out of my name for no reason. So I don't I don't want to see it like I'm making it up to you. I want to work. I want to see it as work and I would love for you to see it that way too. As work as pure work. Now secondly the second question I'm not dying tomorrow, and God forbid, I don't want to die tomorrow. I don't pray I die tomorrow. So there's no way I would be saying, in as much as I, I really don't want issues, and I swear, whenever, whenever, I, whenever I have or I see issues coming up with somebody, I just, I just and then it's just m more of a hit than the first two songs. That's how music works. You know, so. Relation, music relationship, they don't give you time frame. Music relationship, music relationship. So you don't say, after, I'm trying to explain to you so you understand what I'm saying. You don't say, okay, after this song, we're done. What if you have a vibe? What if I have a vibe that I feel like, damn, this is a lady's piece? Am I not allowed to call you? I said, no, since I die, because I'm thinking, if a girl sings like this, it'd be better. I'm thinking if a girl sings about this thing, it'd be better. Or, hey, check your WhatsApp, it sends you a voice note. For love of God, this one tells me what to do. I need to be free to be able to do that. I need to she talks to you and nobody should collect your phone number. Why? This is my business, man. I made it clear to them. And that's how it's supposed to oh, be. Oh, 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 you think I didn't want to make the bread? But that's how it was supposed to be. Do you know when you, got, when, you, when, you, when, you, when you spoke to me? Do you know I felt, I could tell that this is somebody that has gone. 
And one thing this girl did was that she also revealed that Peruzzi was one time bad mountain his boss Davido. He said, she said, I won't even mention the stuff she told me about Davido. Though not to be mentioning your girlfriend in Abuja and the mothers. Don't try me. You understand? Like it seems like this guy has a whole lot of bunch of uh, history with uh, Peruzzi and he knows a lot of Peruzzi history. So Peruzzi was busy running his mouth while he was with this girl. And there's some people, like, you know, of course, you know, Nigeria, they're going to have some misreaction to this. Some people are, like, blaming the girl, cause saying that the girl is maybe angry because she couldn't have that relationship she wanted with Peruzzi, that Peruzzi couldn't, like, <coughs> like, the, sorry, like the girl wanted to date Peruzzi. That maybe Peruzzi wasn't this serious type. So she felt that Peruzzi violated her because Peruzzi don't want the relationship or Peruzzi is a playboy. So now she decided to come aside to start tarnishing the image of Peruzzi. Well, I don't know what this is, but as of today, the girl, the girl is a uh, social media account Instagram where she posted all those things was formerly public, but right now she has placed it up private. Maybe she was getting a lot of uh, a lot of bombarding from uh, Peruzzi fans on Instagram, and let me tell you guys, this is not the first time a lady is coming out to accuse Peruzzi of these similar things. People have been coming out before accusing Peruzzi of doing this kind of stuff to them, and this is like the third female who, who have come out to say Peruzzi has done this kind of things to them in one way or the other. And it's getting too much. I think Peruzzi to get his, uh, his, his stuff together. Because the next one, maybe the, the fourth female comes out, it's going to be really, really bad. Because there have been some countless uh, evidence against him. He need to get his things, his things to, together and stop acting out of uh, carelessness. And now this lady is saying Peruzzi should pay him, pay her a 15 million naira. Well, we don't know where the 15 million naira is coming from. Maybe it's from the settlement that uh, Peruzzi agreed to settle her after the lady threatened to expose him. But maybe, I don't know, whatever 15 million, but this lady is claiming that she paid Peruzzi 10 million naira to 15 million naira to give her some good music, to write some music for, for her. I've never seen artists paying up to, paying somebody up to, 10 million to 15 million naira in Nigeria before to write music. Well, I can't wait to see them. I can't wait to see where this story actually ends. But I really wish Peruzzi can get his stuff together because I'm tired of hearing Peruzzi and nothing good is coming out. And, uh, you no. Know, meanwhile, guys, I'm going to end this video here. Try as much as possible to leave your comment and like. Tell me your own view about this whole situation about Peruzzi. And uh, this lady, therefore, welcome. And as you comment, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Click on the bell notification so that you can get updates on all our new content. And also like this video, comment on it, uh, follow follow me on social media, on Instagram, Mr. Dance Media, and on Twitter, Zedbar Daily. So thank you guys for watching. See you in my next video.